Hello everybody, Blue Jay Artist here, and I'm going to present you another rant, and I hope that you would like it. I know I have been doing a lot of rants lately, I should really be working on map parts, but um, the person that left this comment, I was like, wow, I should really do this rant, why did I do that same store one, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, so... <laughs> I'm terribly sorry if I get your name wrong, but Jolton Forever and Ever said wanted me to do a maple shade rant. So, like always, don't be immature in the comments. Don't go off about people you don't like and all that stuff. So, okay then, let us start. Um. So she was first, she made her first appearance in Crooked Star's Promise, and honestly, um, she has a very interesting backstory. I would want the errands to make a, like a, um, what are they called, super edition on her, because she, her story is so interesting, and we didn't get, like, any details at all. I mean, sure, she had, like, a mate, and she, you know, got kicked out of her clan. This is what I don't understand. Pretty much every cat, like even medicine cats, like break the code. And when they find out about them, they don't like kick them out of the clan or anything. But why was Maple Shade the only one that did? That really confused me. I don't know about anybody else, but that confused me personally. Kick Leaf Pool out. Uh, sorry. Sorry, people who like Leaf Pool, but she needs to get out of here. I mean, she's just so stupid. Okay, getting off track. Um, I, I really think she has an interesting backstory, and I would want to hear more about her. And honestly, she, I, she's probably one of my favorite villains, so I would want to hear a better backstory. Now, I don't like it when people are like, oh, well, I, I love, like, for example, Scourge, because he's so amazing, and all he ever did in his life had hate and blah, blah. Yes, that's true. He had a bad backstory, and that whole thing was bad, I get it, but he did horrible things, like Maple Shade, she did horrible things. She killed basically everybody that Crooked Star cared about, if you think about it. She killed, she, she killed, I mean, well, not intentionally, but she did kind of cause the death of Rainflower, and just all those people that Crooked Star loved. And that is why I, I don't, I don't know. Kirkus are just said her. Have you ever noticed that people in Super Editions have like the worst life ever? Like, okay, spoilers, spoilers, spoiler alert for Tall Stars Revenge. That was a really good book. If you haven't read it, go read it because that's like one of the best warrior books that has come out in like a long time. Anyway, so, um, well, Crooked Star, I mean, not Crooked Star, Tall Star had a pretty, sh really just bad life. Too. I mean, like, blue. Oh my gosh, Blue Star had like the worst life ever. So, I would be interested to see if they can make a super edition for Maple Shade. And, you know, I, I like her, but I'm not one of those weird people that love villains, but to forget all the bad things that they did to other people. But, you know, that's just me. That's my personal opinion. Alright, I'm uh, sorry if this is kind of short. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to, I don't know what else to say. I think that might be it really. So leave a like, comment if you want me to do one another cats and see y'all later.